Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A region of the magnetic field shown in the figure consists of two uniform magnetic field. If small v is the velocity just required for a charge small q of particle of mass small m to pass through the region of magnetic field. Then how much time does such a charge spend in the region of magnetic field? Here we have given four options. Options are a pi m by 2 q b option b pi m by q b option c pi m by 4 q b option d 3 pi m by 2 q b this question is based on the charged particle moving in uniform magnetic field so here as we know that here the force is applied f is equal to q v b when a charged particle suppose q is moving uniform magnetic field this is the plane here the direction of magnetic field and this is a velocity of the charged particle making angle theta then force is exerted upside by using Fleming's left hand rule here suppose this uh, thumb shows the force and this uh, index finger shows the magnetic field and this is the velocity middle finger okay so here suppose magnetic field in this direction velocity in this direction and thumb upside so here the force is exerted to upside this is the formula we have using and theta then sin theta okay charge particle making angle theta with the magnetic field then uniform magnetic field is given and charge particle inside then this force is uniform and so therefore direction of this force towards to the center means is begins to be uniform centripetal force is applied means this force is equal to centripetal force f equal to centripetal force is equal to f equal to qvb okay so this concept we have using to solve this question, we have to take in time spent this charged particle in these two fields. Is it okay? <coughs> Firstly, here we have given the dots. What does it mean of dots? Dot means the magnetic field upside to the board here. Okay, and charged particle, we can see that charged particle like this. So here the force is in the in the downward direction. So here this is downward direction. Is it okay? This is traveling a trajectory path of this charged particle. Okay, making angle this is pi by 2. So, here we have again remember this is magnetic field upside and this is the force and here the charged particle that is moving towards to this. Then we can say that this thumb means force is applied downward direction. This is making angle initially pi by 2 but in this case but second case here the charged particle comes in this path trajectory tangentially and so therefore here the path is being to be just like semicircular and its release are relieved from this magnetic field is it okay so here let us first we have to find out this time t1 so by using this formula centripetal force means mv square and what is the radius this radius is given that is l so here l is equal to q v and b here one we cancel out mv by l equal to qv this v is the linear velocity but when the charged particle enters in magnetic field then this velocity is become angular velocity and we know that very well what is the relation v equal to omega r so v equal to omega here 
in the place of r we have put l so m omega l by l q b l l cancel out and uh, m omega is equal to q b here omega generally in circular path we have using 2 pi by t okay but here in this case here only the path making angle that is pi by 2 so here pi by 2 in time t1 is equal to qb so m pi by 2 qb transposing and t1 so here t1 is equal to m pi 2 qb okay so here first t1 is equal to m pi 2 qb for the time spent in this magnetic field you have to calculate all formula all things the same okay only here we have changing the magnetic field here we have using the magnetic field given that is 2b okay so in this place we have using 2b here we have using 2b for the second case okay 2b here 2b now here omega here omega that is making angle this is pi okay this is pi by 2 so semicircle that is pi so here m making angle pi and time t2 and 2 q b so what is the formula now new t2 here t2 is equal to m pi 2 q b here t2 is equal to m pi 2 q b now total time spent this charge t1 plus t2 m pi 2 q b m pi 2 q b then t equal to 2 m pi by 2 q b 2 to cancel out then m pi by q b is the correct answer so here option b is correct I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.